Let's start with the type of home ownership, renter or owner. Owner. Okay. What type of structure, single family, detached, multi-unit, townhome, condo, apartment? It's single unit. Okay. And the date you approximately moved in? Um, that should be pretty easy. That was uh, 90... Let's see, we got married at 96. 96. 1996. Okay. Uh, so have you always lived in... Yes. Your county? What's your county? Wilkinson, Wilkinson. County. Okay. I don't tell too many people that. <laughs> I live in the four county area. Really? So I can go a half a mile one way and a half a mile another and be in four different counties at one time just about. Where is that? Are you close to Cochrane too? I'm about 25 miles from here. Allentown oh. is more towards the interstate, I-16. Oh, oh okay, okay. Um, and so... Have you always lived in this county? Always. Okay, born and raised? Born and raised. Okay. How, can you tell me how your family ended up in Wilkerson County? Uh, farm. Farming? Which uh, dad or I'm a, I'm a fourth generation. Fourth this, generation this farmer? Fourth generation farmer. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, my grandparents and great granddaddy and father and I, we've all lived on that one track for... That one plot of land. Well, how Long many do you have acres, or do you have acres? Like, how many acres? That family farms about seven fifty eight hundred acres. What do you farm? In Wilson County, right there. Oh, oh what Alabama. do you farm? Uh, we do uh, cows, beef cows. Dang, that's a row lot crop. of acres. We do cotton, peanuts. Everything. Mm-hmm. Diverse. Really? Mm-hmm. That's a lot of acres. So what you got going on now? Like what's what's in season now? Well, we just got, rotate. We got through with corn. We're in peanuts now, and then we'll be going into cotton. So how many do you plot peanuts on all those acres? I don't know. The the large majority of that is pine timber, pine trees, and so we actually farm probably about 350, 400 acres of row crop and hay and cows. Wow, what's included in row crop? Uh, peanuts, cotton, Oh, that's corn, the word crop. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then the beef cow side, we have pasture land and hay land, and that's for the cows. And how much do, you, do they have? They have those acres that are and Generally, time. Generally, you know, one cow per acre, maybe two cows per acre and a half, something like that. It's about your stocking rate. How many cattle you got out there? I run about 80 head. Oh, so you have a lot of land for them to roam on. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I don't do it all by myself. I've got a lot of help and family and all, too. Oh, so it's like a family business that y'all Well, I pay, I pay good help to help manage it. Oh. See, I work with Extension also full-time. Right. So. You can't manage My that. nights and weekends and holidays and yeah. leave is farming, too. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. Uh, it makes me old real fast. Yeah. That's a lot of land. Dang. In fact, we've even oh. thought about solar panels, but on... Um, really? On a large-scale size. Mm-hmm. Where were you going to put them? On some of this land. On some of the land? Yeah. How was you going to use the solar panels? Well, just depends on if there was an incentive program to... Help construct it. Mm-hmm. Um, but after looking into it, I don't know if paybacks in there. Oh. Um, because it's so expensive to construct them. Right. But how would that help your acres of land? Well, it wouldn't help our acres. It would just supply extra income after you get it paid off. Oh. Um, because the the power company would actually buy power right back from you. So don't you have to have, like, do you have whales on your... We do. Mm-hmm. Do we y'all have... I mean, I just heard about we this. We have irrigation know. whales. Right. So would that help? It possibly could, but they're on a three-phase line, not mm-hmm. like our homes are a single phase. You have mm-hmm. to have a lot more voltage. It's like 480 volts that run, goes through mm-hmm. to operate those pivots and the whales and things of that nature. So Yeah. It takes a good bit of electricity mm-hmm. to run those types of equipment. So, 
you think that's you would, have, you would have to have phase converters and things like that to convert mm -hmm. it over. I don't know what it would cost to do something like that, to be right. honest with you. Oh, wow. We'll get more into that, then. Mm -hmm. Confused. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, that's really interesting. I just thought I'd ask some more questions. Um, so, could you tell me a little bit about the home that you live in, though? Very, very old. Um, <laughs> You do, uh, Seriously, the uh, front part of our home is over 100 years old. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a family um, mm -hmm. home. Yep. When was it built? We, all I know is over 100 years old. Whoa. Uh, it still has original fat liner pine. And we kept the front. We remodeled the front and left it mm -hmm. basically like it was. But the back part. half, we modernized it. Yep. Oh, wow. So that's a very, very old house. Yeah, I bet it's got some nice um, original details in it, too. Yeah, it was uh, ex this? extremely inefficient when we got it, but we insulated it and mm -hmm. put siding on and oh, stuff okay. like that. So. Okay, yeah, what is that, um, the type of structure? Is it brick or vinyl? It's wood. Oh. It's vinyl siding now. Vinyl siding? Right. Mm -hmm. But wood on the front? Well, it's wood up under the vinyl siding. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Let's just call it bottom side. And what type of roof is it? Uh, asphalt shingles. Okay. Okay. And then, um, how many, what's the square footage? 1,800. And then, how many bedrooms? Um, one, two, two. It could be three, but we only have two. Okay. Have two. Okay. And then bath? One. That's the thing about those old houses. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay. We fight over the bathroom. Right. <laughs> so, um, why didn't you um, adopt rooftop solar at your residence? Well, of course, back in 1995, or yeah, 95 or 96 when we moved in, mm -hmm. solar panels was not even discussed. I mean, that wasn't even an option. Okay. Um, and so when we put the new roof on it during that time frame, mm -hmm. I never really have even thought about it, to be honest with you. Okay. Personally, I just wonder about the weight of the structure. Right. Especially on an old home like that. Mm hmm I would have concerns about the extra weight up there. Right. Okay. Not only that, I'd be concerned with uh, wind. Like if you get a hurricane, tornado, or something, I mean, would it rip your rooftop off? Right. Because you would have air up under there. Right. There's a space between the roof, if I'm not mistaken. Right. So that would be an issue for me. I would be, structural-wise, I would be concerned about that. And that makes sense, it does. Um, and so... With that being said, um, that's basically what you just answered on why you don't have it. And you yeah. made that decision Structur basically on yourself. Structural issues and cost issues. Okay. I, don't, I don't think it's... For that small of a rooftop, mm -hmm. I don't see personally how it would pay off in my lifetime. Right. Okay. I think you need to be large scale. Yeah. Like 50 acres of solar panels to... Really eat. see your investment come mm -hmm. back? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, so would you um, would you do it if you could, if it was available? Would you want solar on your rooftop or no? I don't think so, just for the side of... For us, mm -hmm. the aesthetics of it would mm -hmm. take away from the... The farm site, I, I, I wouldn't, just for the aesthetics, mm -hmm. the, the way it looks, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want it. <laughs> hey, it does look a little, it's a little you know, daunting. It would, look, it. it would look very out of place on a on fourth own. generation farm. Right. You know, if you had a subdivision and every single house was like that, yeah, I can understand that. But out in the country where I live. <laughs> They're just going to ride by there and I'm like, well, <laughs> what's he doing that for? Right. 
And so I like to just talk about rooftop in general. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to give you a map of the United States. You have a pen mm -hmm. right there. And, uh, and so you can just put a check, an X, a star, or whatever states you think that has rooftop solar. I would think Florida. Okay. I would think California. Um, I would think probably these states south right in here and possibly Texas. And my thinking behind that is because further south it is the more sunshine, more sunshine, longer days, hotter days. Mm -hmm. and that would be my... That was my next question. That's what I would think. Anything else? Well, I mean, I know that they are in Georgia, but it's... Well, I know for a fact they're in Georgia because I have seen them before. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put Georgia in there too. Okay. So you said hotter days and yeah. longer days on those states. That's right. why you think they have them. Anything else you can think of and why they might have them? Um, I just hotter climate um, mm -hmm. because of Florida and because of California, I would say population. Mm -hmm. Those states probably use a tremendous amount of electricity. Especially with the heat, yeah. Because you're gonna have air conditioners running in the summertime, yeah. And you're gonna have a lot more households, yeah. Um, but I just don't know that much about north. I would think it would be, I think here would be more like wind power, or so I mean instead of solar power. But right. I'm not an expert in that department. In the Midwest, yeah. I, yeah, that is true. Um, so why do you think people? here in this area um, have a lot more solar power on their rooftops on those states that you named? Well, probably I know in the state of Georgia there was mm -hmm. a solar panel company mm -hmm. in Dublin at one time. Really? Sure was. In how, fact, how my brother, my brother worked for them for about a year or two. Oh, how long? Are they still here? They're not here. They're out of business. Really? So that kind of tells me another thing about the solar panel. <laughs> what was their incentives when he worked there? Uh, they were doing rooftops. They were doing, um, in fact, um, the City School of Dublin yeah. has one of the largest um, solar panels mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, they're not even hooked up because wow. of the cost. They wow. constructed them. But never did hook them up and get them on the grid. Oh, because so, of a cost problem. Right. And that business, at the time, I think it started up due to, I think it relates a lot back to our government that we that's in power at the time. So the Obama administration, they were real big on green power and stuff right. like that. So like companies like that started up in Dublin mm -hmm. thought, well, this is a great time to start up. Right. So then when you get another type of administration in there, they may not be too much towards geared towards subsidizing solar panels and green energy and things like that. So those things kind of fade away. Right. So I think that plays a huge part in okay. business. I think they have to be subsidized to be mm -hmm. for people to do it. That's true. Which okay. makes me think that it's not profitable. Right, because of what happened with that company. That makes sense. All right. I'm just being honest about it. Hey. I don't have anything against it. Somebody yeah, wants to do no. it. That's no, great. Right, right. I realistically, yeah. it needs to be on a large scale. That makes sense. And so the next one is going to be the state of Georgia. So what counties do you think were you've seen or do you believe right, Lawrence have? counties for sure. Okay. Um, and there are one. There's one county I know for a fact mm -hmm. that has it on rooftop of their shelters of their business. Oh, where um, is that? At? They do ethanol production, uh -huh. and they have like 50 by 100 shelters, mm -hmm. and their tops are solar panels. Oh, in wow. fact, it was um, in my previous career with Soil and Water Conservation Commission, mm -hmm. we toured it, and it was like a 25-year investment for them to invest in it 
before they started seeing their money return back. And the power company was actually buying power credits from them. But and it still was going to take that long of a time frame to get the money back out of it. But it was a very large scale project. I mean, that's probably the equivalent of five rooftops. Oh, but what county was that in? It was North Georgia, but I, I cannot remember what county it was in. Um, I wanted to say it was, let's see, the that district would have been um, very, Oconee. Oh, okay. Right here. It was right here, Oconee County. Oh, okay. You can just mark it on this map. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so Oconee has it. If I, Okay. Walton Oconee, um, I'm pretty sure they have some. So Athens Clark. Okay. So they, I would say Walton and Oconee County. Oh, okay. Now that that power company there is a real large power company. Yeah. And, um, if I'm not mistaken, they promote that. Wow. Well, up north though. Mm -hmm. And then you mark. Where? Lawrence County. Oh, in sure. Lawrence County. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other places you could think of where you've seen them? Not done know. Okay. I, I would suspect it's probably somewhere around the Savannah area. Okay, you can mark that if you want to. Okay. I would say some of these coastal counties. Yeah. Maybe here, here. That's where I think it may be. Okay. And so, um, why do you think some of these those counties though have where you mark have solar rooftop solar panels? Well, this Lawrence County was there was a distributor there, right. okay, maker of solar panels. Mm -hmm. So naturally, that county would they would market heavily in that county. Mm -hmm. uh, in the northern counties, um, they were promoting it through their EMC, mm -hmm. and also they were being incentivized through NRCS. Natural Resource Conservation Commission. Yeah. They do a, a equip program that, if I'm not mistaken, it's available statewide. Mm -hmm. but I don't know how much of a priority it is. Now, with NRCS funds, cost share funds, mm -hmm. no matter what program you go through, mm -hmm. it's a competitive um Grant basically, well, it's actually not a grant because you have to, it's a cost share, is what it is. So they factor in how much electricity you can actually produce your location, how closely you are to a, a main power line. Mm -hmm. Like a, the, the big lines that you see going up down the highway, the big ones. Yeah. Those, they want them close to those. That grid line, because that's that's the ones that carry electricity back and forth oh. from the plants and all. So what do you? So think? location plays a great part of it, right? And also in the NRCS, location and how big a scale and availability of funds. Oh, okay. So what um, thinks? What do you think is uh, makes it different from? say your county versus these counties here on Cochrane. These are rural counties mm -hmm. and homeowners are not going to be susceptible to it for again mm -hmm. cost. Yeah. These coastal counties mm -hmm. the people who live there are probably higher end pay scale wise mm -hmm. their income is probably larger mm -hmm. and they're they're right there close to they get so much sun from the coast and all that right it's probably more acceptable okay. to see homes like that in those type of areas that makes sense too so do any of your close friends here in the state of georgia have solar on their roof not on their roof but they have it in fields not on roof but in fields and how do you know how they're using it in the fields? Yes. Uh, well, they're, the EMC or the power company is actually buying electricity from them that they are creating. How many panels do they have? I have no idea. Is several, like, is a couple acres that the panels are sitting on? Oh, yeah. There's, 
for example, on Highway 80, uh-huh. going back towards Dublin, uh-huh. there's, a, there's a small one there. It's probably 20 acres. Wow. The largest one in the state right now uh-huh. is on Macon Highway, uh-huh. halfway between here and Macon uh-huh. on your left. That's the largest one in the state of Georgia. And do you know what they're doing as far as with their solar panels? They're going to tar- they're going to sell electricity back into the grid. Oh. Yep. That's a lot of panels, but there's a lot of acreage out there, and the sun availability is it's huge. It's wow. massive. You need to go see it. Wow. I do need to go see that. Dang. That's pretty good. Huh? Yeah. Probably want to wear some shades out there while you. <laughs> Maybe some, maybe some aluminum foil around your body or something. There's no telling what kind of, kind of rays is coming right. in there. <laughs>